Consulting editor Times Network, Mr. Maruf Raza. But before that, a quick uh, word from Pradeep Datta, who joins us live on the story. Uh, Pradeep, one thing is very clear that these Khalistani radicals uh, reportedly cited Nijjar's killing while stopping this envoy's entry to the Gurudwara. But he was going to be meeting the Glasgow Gurudwara's committee. That's when he was interrupted by these extremists. See, one thing is quite clear, the people who are stopping and blocking this man from entering inside the Gurdwara Sahib, they, they do not believe in Sikhism because Sikhism means inclusivity. That's one of the reasons you must have seen that four gates of Golden Temple. That means anybody irrespective of caste, creed, color, religion, faith, they can come inside the Gurdwara Sahib. The similar thing is happening what really happened in 1983 when D.I.G. Avtar Singh Atwal was killed on the footsteps of Golden Temple. That time also we had seen that Bindrawale and his men were against somebody coming inside the Golden Temple because they were, had so many things to hide. The same thing is happening right now in the Gurdwara Sahib, whether it's Scotland, UK, or in Canada, some of these Gurdwaras have been occupied by these Khalistani goons and they do not want them to come inside because they have so many things to hide. Reason being that these Gurdwara Sahib are used as operational bases by them where they are not only indoctrinating and brainwashing young minds, but they are also trying to spew women against India where they are trying to portray Indian bad light. But they are not understanding and realizing one thing. That way they are only portraying Sikhism in bad light. Neither they follow Guru Nanak Dev Ji nor they follow Guru Gobind Singh Ji. When I am saying they are not following because Guru Nanak Dev Ji believed in inclusivity. He used to say, Mera mujh mein kuch nahi hai. Jo kuch hai so, tera. so there is nothing in me. And he used to talk about koi bole Ram Ram, koi Allah hai, koi Sevak Sanya, koi Khudai. So anybody can come inside the Gurdwara Sahib. Who are these people to stop? Today, in fact, my head is also hanging in shame. And I'm feeling bad calling myself a sick because of the actions of these few Khalistani goons. Because no Sikh will like. In fact, they need to apologize. I think the other Sikhs need to act and react against such actions because otherwise it will be too late. We have to speak out against uh, these uh, gundas who are sitting inside the go uh, gurdwaras here in UK because they cannot stop. Yeah. Even if we look at the Guru Gobind Singh Ji, because Guru Gobind Singh Ji, he sacrificed life, he fought against operation. When I said, Kata dunga kal tak main baki ke ja tak reh jaunga kela main ghar ko luta kar kabhi bete vare kabhi vara valid is tarah se kong ka desh ka karza ada ho raha So Guru Gobind Singh Ji always fought against operation. Not that he stopped somebody from entering inside the gurdwara sahib. If somebody has a belief, even if he has come to just prostrate yes. inside the Gurdwara side Absolutely. to pay obviously Well, that's the sentiment, Pradeep, uh, not just in the Indian Sikh community, but Sikhs worldwide. Uh, Maruf, you know, US and Canada, both to an extent, have been dialing down their diatribe over the alleged New Delhi hand in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijjar. Uh, but that's not going to be enough. A stronger message needs to be sent out because here you have these goons once again out there on the streets blocking the way of an envoy, a security breach, if you may uh, call it that. But that's not going to stop with just, you know, a softening of uh, the position on uh, the allegations that have been leveled by Justin Trudeau. More needs to be done, both by Trudeau and perhaps the United States as well. See, I have a couple of points to make, which are very different from what Vikram has said, uh, because he's made a very strong case, and I'm with him on it. Uh, the point to understand is that it is shameful that a con country the size of Canada, which has very close links and security links with the U.S., would make such an intelligence faux pas. They have no credible intelligence, but they're going around in Parliament making allegations. Secondly, the Canadians are very close allies of the U.S., and the U.S. is very keen to make better ties with India. So the US is walking on tightrope and therefore can't criticize Canada and can't tell India to back off because both ways, both sides have their own narrative. Now the US has been basically insisting that terror is something which is unacceptable. So is Mr. Nijjar and the late Nijjar's activities acceptable? He used to run terror camps in Canada. It's public knowledge. He has been involved in trying to create upheaval in Punjab. And his followers are doing what they are doing in the Gurdwaras. They see him as a revival of Bindranwala's legacy. Bindranwala himself didn't cover himself with glory. He was a shameful conduct of a Sikh person of the misuse of Gurdwaras 
and how it brought bad name to the Sikhs, just like the Pakistanis used jihadis to attack India under the umbrella of Islam. Islam is a religion of peace, but they use that and the motivation from hardline scriptures to make a case for continuing with terror as an extension of foreign policy. Hmm. The third point is that Canada is now having to gradually back off because you have stu statements from Mr. Trudeau saying that, you know, India is an important geopolitical player. We want to have better ties with India. So you want to have better ties, then apologize and get on with it. Hmm. Where is your evidence? There's no evidence, but you are just pointing fingers because it's very clear. Both hmm. Trudeau's father and Trudeau himself have seen the Punjabi Sikh community as a vote bank. Hmm. And they'd rather but, win but an election. Maruf, uh, sorry to interrupt you there, but do you think an apology, an unconditional apology, really will uh, not further embolden these kind of elements, Khalistani sympathizers, elements, radicals? I was, it's a good question. I was coming to that. You see, if you're serious about confronting terror, and all these countries, which are part of this circle of white man's influence in geopolitics, running from Vladivostok to Vancouver, these countries are the first ones to raise their hand in the UN to pass resolutions against terror. Now, if terror is happening on your soil, how are you coming down then them? Would you make a difference between terror and free speech mm. if your own family and friends were involved? Would you make a difference between terror and free speech if your country's security was involved? I wouldn't. Mm. I don't know what Mr. Trudeau's priorities are. Mm. So the fact is, that terrorism has no apologists who can stand up for it because terrorism is against humanity. And India has strongly opposed it all along. Hmm. India's experience with Sikh terror has been very bitter, particularly between 83, 84, and then going on to 93, 94. Yes. We've killed it. Nijja tried his luck when he came to Punjab. He didn't get much grass. So I don't think he and his followers can keep creating a racket in Gurdwaras and think the world is going to take them seriously. There are a bunch of cartoon characters and they should be de you know, uh, dealt with with indifference. And even now, there's been a strong pushback from India about the operating space, quote-unquote operating space that's been given to these violent forces. Uh, Pradeep, interestingly, was talking about the sentiments of the Sikh community. BJP's Manjinder Singh Sirsa has also expressed similar concerns. Let's quickly listen in, in uh, listen into him as well. Those who do this, these people do not understand the Sikhs or want to the whole world. This is what इसकी मैं भी निंदा करता हूं और मेरे साथ-साथ करोड़ों सिखों की भी यही भावना है हम कभी कल्पना भी नहीं कर सकते कि कोई गुरुद्वारे दर्शन करने को आए और उसका विरोध किया जाए लेकिन ये चंद लोग जो ये कर रहे हैं जो 10 20 लोग हैं वो ये नहीं समझ रहे कि पूरी दुनिया के अंदर आप हमारी आने वाली जनरेशन तक को भी बदनाम कर रहे हो दुनिया में हम सेवियर के नाम से जाने जाने वाले लोग जो हैं उनकी छवि कौन खराब करना चाहता है ये हम सब लोग को समझने की जरूरत है मैं इसकी कड़े शब्दों में निंदा करता हूं और उम्मीद करता हूं कि जिन लोगों ने ऐसा किया है वो जरूर महसूस करेंगे कि उन्होंने बहुत बड़ी गलती की है लंदन के लोगों ने उनको गुरुद्वारे नहीं जाने दिया दूसरा पक्ष ये है कि गुस्सा है उनके बीच और जिस तरह से भारत में भी मीडिया का एक हिस्सा सभी नहीं कहते हैं। जैसे सिखों को आतंकवादी गैंगस्टर के तरीके से बताने का जतन कर रहा है तो पंजाबियों की इस देश के लिए बहुत बड़ी कुर्बानियां है उन्होंने 85% इस देश के लिए कुर्बानियां की तो इस तरह से उसे प्रोजेक्ट नहीं किया जाना चाहिए तीसरी बात हमारी है कि गुरुद्वारा सभी के लिए है तो गुरु साहब ने पूरी दुनिया के लिए संदेश दिया कोई भी गुरुद्वारे आ सकता सभी को गुरुद्वारे जाने का हक है well, Maruf uh, and Pradeep, you know, Dr. S.J. Shankar in the latest has left no doubt about India's ire at uh, Canada's permissive approach, so to say, towards Khalistani extremism. So let's quickly shift our focus to that. Many thanks for joining uh, us here on Times Now this morning.